You're watching Good Day Central Illinois on WYZZ. Welcome back. Phoenix Community Development Services is gearing up for their annual fall fundraiser next week. And of course, they want you to come out. So here to tell us a little bit more about the event is the CEO of Phoenix CDS, Christine Call, and Pam Stevens, the Director of Housing and Development. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank Thanks. you. Of course, of course. So tell us a little bit about the Phoenix Community Development Services and exactly what mm -hmm. they do. Sure. We're a licensed mental health agency that um, concentrates our work on ending homelessness for people with behavioral health conditions. So it looks like you guys have something planned to make sure that you're helping those people with those needed mental health services. So what is it that people can get excited for? Well, it is a fun-filled murder mystery um, dinner on October 25th. <laughs> so what, what exactly can people expect for it? Um, people can expect to come out for some great food. Um, actors come in, and it also includes audience participation. So you guys have had fall fundraisers for a while. What is different about this one than previous ones, or what have you guys done in the past? Well, we change the theme every year, so it's always a different one for people who have been there before. We don't want them to have the same murder mystery experience and stuff. So this year the theme is um, Dead Like Me or Dead Like dead You. Dead Like Me. Um, and they can come in costumes for basically a famous person who's died before or a zombie or some kind of afterlife theme and stuff. And so um, it's just a great opportunity to participate. Yeah, it sounds super fun, too. I've never had the opportunity to, you know, be in a murder mystery, but that would be really fun. And of course, all the money is going to something amazing. So speaking of, what services are the funds that are being raised going towards? Sure. So um, the majority of our funds come from government grants, and those government grants require matching dollars, usually 25%. So um, these kind of unrestricted donations um, support that. So examples of things that uh, we use those funds for is when somebody's moving in off the streets into their own apartment, they don't have things like pots and pans and silverware and bed linen. So that's an example of something that these funds can help support. Do you know how many people you're helping every single year? Yeah, last year we housed about 480 people. So we ended homelessness is the way I should say it for 480 people last year. Wow, that's a fantastic way to put it and a yeah. beautiful number as yeah. well. You guys are doing amazing work, obviously. Well, thank you. Um, of course, so for those who maybe want to go but unfortunately they can't, are there any other ways that they can give back to you guys or volunteer or do anything else to make sure that you know, you're able to support those who need it? Sure. Well, on our website, phoenixcds.org, um, obviously there's a donation button like there is at most uh, nonprofits and stuff, so people can give a donation through there. Um, they also, though, can support the event, even if they can't come, by supplying things. There will be a silent auction as a part of it, so they can provide things to go into the auction baskets. Um, but they can also make a donation through the ticket sales there as well. Great. And now before we go, of course, we want people to head out there. So once yeah. again, if we could give the details of what it is, where it is, and then how people can purchase tickets. October 25th at the warehouse, it's on state at 5.30 p.m. Tickets are available at our website, phoenixcds.org, which is also um, you can access through our Facebook page. Perfect. Well, I want to thank you both so much for joining me this morning. Thank, thank you. you. Of course. And we are going to share all of these details on our website. That's ciproud.com.